Dear students, of BSc second semester students. Today I'm going to discuss about the topic anomalous secondary growth in Amaranthus mirabilis and Dracaena stem of unit number four, plant anatomy. This topic will be covered in two lectures. Lecture one will discuss about the growth in plants and anomalous growth in amaranthus stem. And lecture two will cover anomalous growth in mirabilis and dracaena stem. So in lecture one, first we'll discuss about the types of growth found in plants. In plants, there are three types of growth. The first type is very common type of the growth that is the primary growth, means growth in length and the development of lateral appendages due to apical and intercalary meristem. The second type of the growth is the secondary growth, means increase in thickness or girth or diameter due to the formation of secondary tissues by the activity of lateral meristem, including vascular cambium and cock cambium. Vascular cambium is a meristem which produces secondary xylem and secondary phloem in plant stem, while cock cambium is a meristematic tissue found in the outer cortical cells that produce coke in the outer side and the phallodome towards the inner side. Normal secondary growth in dicotyledonous stem is characterized by the following. Number one, the formation of new cambium streaks in the interfascicular region by the initiation of meristematic activity in the parenchymatous cells of primary medullary rays, which are adjacent to fascicular cambium. That is the cambium between the xylem and the phloem. And in the second case, these interfascicular cambial strips joined with the fascicular cambia to form a complete ring of vascular cambium. And in the third position of vascular cambium ring always lie between the primary xylem and the primary phloem. And in the fourth, Cells of this cambium cut secondary xylem towards the inner side and the secondary xylem towards the outer side. And in the next stage, in the fifth stage, normally single vascular cambium remains active and there is no extra cambial rings which are formed only a ring of the cocambium is formed which develop later in the extrastellar region. So now the third type of the plant growth is the anomalous secondary growth. The secondary growth which deviates from the normal type is regarded as abnormal or anomalous secondary growth. That means the uncommon type of the growth. Anomalous secondary growth in dicotyledonous stem can be studied under the following broad categories. Number one, normal position of cambium with normal activity. That is the position of the cambium is normal but the function is abnormal. Under this example, Bohinia, Singtrao in Manipuri, Bignonia, Bhaitis, Angur in Manipuri, Tinospora, Ningthau Khongli, 
etc. The second case, abnormal position of cambium with normal activity. That is, the position is abnormal, but the function is normal. Under this, we found the plant Sarzania ichthyoctona and the Tinea scandens. And in the third case, abnormal position of cambium with abnormal activity. Here the position is also abnormal and activity function is also abnormal. Under this heading, we can discuss number one, formation of extrastellar cambium. Example is found in the stem of Amaranthus, Senkruk, and Echidanthus, Senkruk to zombie. And the second one is the formation of successive rings of cambia, which develop either in the form of concentric rings or segments. And this example is found in the stem of Bougainvillea, Cerei, Mirabilis, Mukakle, and Canopodium. And next, formation of interxylary phloem. Example is found in the stem of Thunbergia celosia. Next, formation of interxylary coke. Example, Artemisia and Epilobium. Now we are going to discuss in detail about the anomalous growth in Amaranthus system, which is called pigweed in English and the Senkrook in Manipuri, which belongs to family Amaranthaceae of dicotyledons. Here the primary structure of Amaranthus stem shows outermost single layer epidermis, which is covered by cuticle and interrupted here and there by stomata. The epidermis is followed by cortex, which is differentiated into outer few layer colenchymatous hypodermis and parenchymatous general cortex. Endodermis is not distinct. It consists of a layer of colorless cells having stars grains. The pericycle consists of a few layers of thin parenchymata cells. Primary vascular system consists of a normal ring of conjoint collateral open and endovascular bundles separated by white medullary rays. Besides, there are several conjoint collateral open and endoc medullary bundles scattered in the pit. Secondary growth occurs within these bundles by their fascicular cambia becomes inactive and anomalous secondary growth begins. It begins with the formation of extrastellar cambium in the region of pericycle. In fact, the inner layer of pericycle starts behaving as cambium ring. This cambium cuts off cells only towards the inner side. It cuts several rows of cells towards the inner side, which differentiate into parenchymatous cells, among which the groups of xylem vessels scattered. Just above the xylem vessel, a few meristematic cells differentiate into secondary phloem. In this way, the extrastellar cambium produces secondary vascular bundles 
embedded in the parenchymatous conjunctive tissue. As the secondary growth continues, the extravesicular cambium gives rise to meristematic cells, which differentiates into xylem trachea outside the secondary phloem. This type of production of alternating xylem and alternating phloem strains continues in radial rows which are embedded in parenchymatous conjunctive tissue and this process continues or goes on and increases in the stem diameter. And, uh, Thus, the secondary growth, anomalous secondary growth, occur in amaranthus stem. So, this concludes how does anomalous secondary growth take place in amaranthus stem. Thank you.